Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you the daily Apple report for Thursday, November 30th, 2023. Let's jump into the charts. Just go over the big picture, work our way into the day itself. Just a reminder that a few weeks ago, we settled above this descending channel top that is now at 184.49, dropping a little bit every week. It is our base of support. Um, really into the first quarter and above which uh, not only expecting, uh, you know, another test of that 198.23 July high uh, over the next uh, month or so, the next several weeks perhaps, but uh, longer term still anticipating this 232.09 long term channel top. This long-term channel top at 232.09 is considered a big-picture long-term objective anyway, above the mid-160s, 164.90 to 166.31. That is long-term support we settled above in May, retested again uh, over the last couple of months, is held nicely to the downside. We then closed above 184.49, which told me we probably have a good low through the rest of Q1, and we can continue making our way to new highs as we move through Q1, and that is the big picture. Let's take a look uh, at recent developments. This is that channel top that on the weekly chart is at 184.49 on the daily chart at 183.66, just for reference. Now, um, you know, we did close above this area, as I said, a couple of weeks ago and about, um, you know, four days ago, four trading days ago, that was Friday of last week, we settled below this rising channel bottom uh, that is now at 192.51. It's a session containment level, able to contain daily buying pressures. We certainly tested it on Wednesday, held nicely fell off to close negative on the day. The question begs, of course, will we continue south into this 183.66 region, say between now and the end of next week? We might, but I don't see a reason to assume as much unless we close below both uh, the 188.63 rising one-third speed line. Uh, and as you see, I've got 188.27 here, which is this newly developed descending channel bottom over the last week or so of trade. So yes, 188.63 is meaningful, but in terms of downward pivot point, clarity uh, through the rest of the week and into next it would be a settlement below 188.27 that would set up a test within three to five days of this 183.66 to 184.49 area which would represent a meaningful buy opportunity through the rest of the year and well into q1 we could come off of this area nicely as we move into january trade but in terms of the short-term outlook you know, three to five day swing traders can pull the trigger with a settlement today below 188.27, playing the short side of the market into next week. The 183.66 formation then expected within three to five days where profits can be taken and long entry can be made for both day traders, three to five day swing traders, three to five week swing traders, and three to five month near term investors. Because once again, it is above that 183.66 to 184.49 region where we uh, maintain a bullish dynamic through all of of Q1, we could reach 232.09 over the next three to five months, perhaps. So let's get back to kind of the, uh, you know, the day itself. You've got 188.63, but it really is 188.27 as your base of support. In any event, upside 192.51. This is your kind of your day trade zone. I do need to include 188.27. I don't have them on both charts. This is day support. This is also, by the way, three to five day support. Three to five day swing traders can also buy this zone in anticipation then within a day or two of 192.51 and higher. Uh, and I will mention that if we do close today above 192.51, and it is possible uh, that the 196.45 high settlement price that was put out in July would be considered a three to five day objective. So closing above 192.51, three to five day swing traders go long, stay long up to 196.45. And if you like, even up to 198.23, which is double top material, that July all time high where we could top out on a weekly, possibly monthly basis. Um, downside, 192.51. I don't know if you, you may have actually sold this on Wednesday as we tested it, because I'd mentioned that it could uh, present a sell opportunity back into the upper 180s again within several days of doing so, 188.27 is your three to five day 
uh, um, you know, support level. So day traders can make use of 188.27. Three to five day swing traders can make use of 188.27 uh, in anticipation of at least 192.51 within a few days. And as I said earlier, uh, you know, quite possibly that, um, where are you? I'm looking for you. There we are, 196.45. You know, it's hard to put it all on one chart. It just looks like a big mess. It might look like a big mess to you anyway, but it looks like an even bigger mess when you put all all of these line studies on one chart. You need to put it in proper context. You look at one chart at a time uh, and break it down. Uh, I will once again remind you that if we do close today below 188.27, I see no good reason to be long Apple as we move through the rest of the week and into next. I'm talking short term, uh, you know, because I would expect the 183.66 area over that time horizon. Now, if you're long, uh, if you're a three to five week swing trader or a three to five month near term investor, and you've been long for the last couple of weeks above 184.49, I'm not trying to shake you out of that long position. I still think it's the way to be. If you're a longer term, um, you know, if you're more of a near term investor, one, uh, three to five months out. Uh, last thing I will say, and it's not going to happen today, but if over the next week or so we close back below 183.66, that sends us down to 179.03. And as I've been saying, I am decidedly bullish through the rest of the year and into Q1 above 184.49. And I really don't turn bearish into January trade unless we were to close below 179.03. Inside of this area, 179.03 to 183.66 is this sort of, um, this sort of uh, murky no man's land of trend identification over the mid to longer term, over the midterm time horizon. Um, anything else to say? I don't think so. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that for um, Thursday's Apple report. Please click like, share, subscribe, and check out wickedstocks.com. I'll be back tomorrow with Friday's Apple, and you have a great day.